Hello, this is Pastor Mike Jones with the Life Together in Christ devotion. And today we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 9, starting with verse 22 through verse 29. Romans chapter 9, verse 22 through 29. And this is a scripture that talks about God's amazing love for you and me, that he's chosen you today and he watches over you. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your amazing love for each one of us, that you have chosen us to be your children, that you are always with us and nothing will ever, ever change your love for us. Lord, we thank you for your presence that goes with us today in everything we experience. We pray that you would now speak words of promise and hope to each one of us as we look at your scripture today. Amen. Romans chapter 9, verse 22 through 29. What if God, although choosing to show his wrath and make his power known, bore with great patience the objects of his wrath? prepared for destruction? What if he did this to make the riches of his glory known to the object, objects of his mercy, whom he prepared in advance for glory, even us, whom he also called, not only from the Jews, but also from the Gentiles? As he says in Hosea, I will call them my people who are not my people, and I will call her my loved one who is not my loved one. And in the very place where it was said to them, you are not my people, there they will be called children of the living God. Isaiah cries out concerning Israel, though the number of the Israelites be like the sand of the sea, only the remnant will be saved. For the Lord will carry out his sentence on earth with speed and finality. It is just as Isaiah said previously, unless the Lord Almighty had left us descendants, we would have become like Sodom. We would have been like Gomorrah. This is an amazing scripture. Paul is writing here about the Jewish people that he comes out of and also the Gentiles, the non-Jewish people who the gospel has been brought to. And he's speaking to uh, Jewish Christians, uh, Jewish people that received Christ as Savior, and he's also speaking to new believers who were not Jewish, uh, but heard the gospel and became Christians. And so he's speaking of the Jewish people when he says, or the Gentile people, I'm sorry, he says, I will call them my people who are not my people. He will call the Gentiles his people, even though they were not part of the Jewish race. And he says, I will call her my loved one, who is not my loved one, meaning that uh, God first loved the Jewish people and chose to bring Christ through them. But many of the Jewish people chose not to believe in Christ, and they walked away from God. And God took the gospel to the Gentiles to show his great love for you and I. And so, God says, I will call her my loved one who is not my loved one. We are part of God's loved ones. And so God has called us to be his children. And we are now part of the family of God. We are called the children of the living God. And I tell you, if we are the children of the living God and God loves us, what do we have to fear? There is nothing that we need fear in this world. There's a beautiful song uh, that I first heard sung in uh, the Catholic Church often for funerals. And it's called, You Are Mine, Be Not Afraid. And I'm going to share the chorus of that because I think it's the words that God would speak to each one of us today. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. Do not be afraid, I am with you. 
I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. God has called you as his child. You are his and he loves you more than anything else. Do not be afraid today of anything that you will face. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you've called each one of us your children. And Lord, that you love us more than anything else in this world, that you've created us to love us and to be in relationship with you. And Lord, for your presence today, we give thanks. And Lord, because you love us and you are present with us, we give you thanks that we have nothing to be afraid of. Take away our fears, Lord, and give us courage and faith and hope as we face the future unafraid. Amen. God loves you, and I love you. Have an awesome day today, and don't be afraid of anything.